Hey everyone, it's Lisa, and today I'm going to do a video, and you're going to think that I'm pretty nuts for doing this, because most of you, I know pretty much all of you that I talk to, um, also enjoy wearing Uggs. And the reason I want to do this is because every time I have put on my Ugg boots this winter and fall, been just so <laughs> thankful that I finally got some. And I know that everybody that has them loves them, but the people I want to talk to are people out there like me that thought, um, let's see, one, I thought I was probably too old to be running around in Uggs. I thought it was, you know, you see so many like college students and stuff, and I just didn't want to be, it's not that I think I'm old, it's just I don't want to be one of those people that everybody's looking at thinking I'm trying to be so young or whatever, which I don't really worry about as much anymore, but you know what I mean. Um, two, I thought it was going to be too hot here. I live in the south and it just doesn't, we don't get snow on a regular basis. I mean, once every couple years. Um, I just thought it might be kind of ridiculous for me to get them because I just didn't think it got cold enough here. Um, three, I didn't think that they looked that comfortable. I thought, um, let me get one. This is one pair that I have and this is my favorite ones. And this is just the regular uh, not the tall, I guess you would call them the short, um, chestnut. And I thought because of this big old Sasquatch looking toe and this heel, I thought that they would not be comfortable. I felt like they would be too clunky for me. And I would hear people talk about, you know, wearing them around the house and I would just think that is just sounded ridiculous to me because I thought, how can you wear something that big and clunky around the house? Um, so that's another reason I didn't want them. Um, and this kind of still is my feelings. I do not think that they're particularly flattering or, you know, I don't think they're real feminine and I don't really think they're the best looking shoe to wear with any outfit. I think that, you know, every time I wear them, I probably could be wearing another shoe that would look better, but they have just been such a, you know, lifesaver is not the word. They've just been such a joy to wear this season just for so many reasons and that's kind of what I wanted to um, share with you today and tell you why I think you need to get some for Christmas. Okay, first of all, the very first ones I got were, um, I don't know if it was last year or year before last, we were sitting in a restaurant and I looked over at a girl and she had these on and John and I both liked them and I think we left right from that restaurant and went and got them. And the reason I liked them was because they weren't as clunky looking and um, they just look really good with her jeans. And it is the, um, they're called Cove and the color is Mocha. And here they are. And they're real pretty. They have the, you know, shoe that ties, the, the shoe string that ties around. And um, so I got these and to be honest with you, I bet I haven't worn them, I probably haven't worn them five times. Um, they're not, they've got the Sherpa in them, but they're not completely lined like the regular Uggs are. They're not as soft and they are on the bottom of them. They're just a regular, you know, I don't know if you can see, just regular like leather or suede. And they're very constructed, like they're not real flat inside, which a lot of people may like this more. Um, so I find myself, one thing, I, you'll probably notice with me wearing boots and flip-flops all the time, I do not, I think I have claustrophobic feet. I do not like wearing socks and I do not like having to lace up a shoe. I have tennis shoes, um, like jogging shoes and stuff that I have not even worn in just months and months and months. I just don't like athletic shoes. I don't like wearing socks, period. So you can wear these without socks, definitely, but um, they're just, it's not the same. They're, it's much more of a shoe, shoe feeling. And so after I got these, I mean, I like, I love the way they look and I can't remember how much they were, but I remember they weren't cheap because we were surprised when we went to get them. Um, but so that kind of cured my Ugg fascination there for a while. And I just kept hearing everybody say, you know, how much they loved them. And I was just thinking, you know, what is the big deal? So this year I decided I am going to, I think Gina, Love, Peace, and Lip Gloss, had, you know, told me that how much I would love them. And then I remember Michelle 1218, I think I said to her one time or I wrote to her that I didn't think it got cold enough here. And she said that because they were natural or something, she made me think for some reason they wouldn't be as hot as I thought they would. So 
this year I just decided I was going to try some. And the first ones I got are the ones I have on. I'm going to take, take it one off right now. And it's the um, tall black ones. Just regular tall black. And um, now you put it back on. Um, these are the first ones I got. And I got them way before it was even time to wear them. And then I wanted some, um, I wanted this color. At first I wanted the lighter color the sand and they didn't carry them so I got this and I'm real happy that I did because I've really really enjoyed this color um, and these are the reasons that I love them and I think that you should go get at least one pair and it's so funny because um, my mom and I were at Belk's the other day and there was a lady getting them and she just you know she was fighting it she said I don't want to spend this much money and then she tried them on and she says oh they feel so good and you know she ended up getting them against her um, will kind of and I know she's going to enjoy them um, first of all my feet do not get hot it's the weirdest thing it's like it keeps my feet warm but not hot second of all I've never worn a pair of socks with them um, and they feel so fuzzy and good on your feet and for some reason it's like no matter how many times I wear them the fur doesn't get packed down it's they're fluffy in there every time I put them on and they feel so good um, three they do not and this is a funny thing but they do not stink your feet for some reason they just do not sweat in these I mean I have worn them just all day all day long and my feet they do not stink a bit I've had it's funny I had my mom smell them and I had Brooke smell them because it's so funny I mean I have worn them all this time and they do not stink they do not smell like feet or anything they do not smell at all and I just think that is so neat okay third they are comfortable they are way more comfortable than they look um, I thought they were gonna be real clunky feeling um, and I thought they were going to be like heavy feeling on my feet, like rain boots or something, you know. They aren't. They aren't that way at all. Um, I find myself, I will have them on in, before I even think about it, I've, it's nighttime. And it's almost time to go to bed and I have not taken them off. And to me that's like saying a lot because it's kind of like they're my um, flip-flops for the winter. Because I can just put them on and I just don't even think about it for the rest of the day. Now I will say I like the short version better than the tall. I feel like I have more options and I feel like they're more comfortable um, in the short version. I know a lot of people like the tall ones and I have enjoyed having the tall ones and you can you can roll the tall ones down but if I were going to get another pair which I probably will I think I want the gray ones next or the chocolate but um, I really like the short. Another thing I have enjoyed for all you moms is in the mornings when it's cold and my kids have to be at school at um, Brooke has to get on the bus at 645 and then I take Will to school and which Brooke wants to ride the bus believe me I would love to take her because then I wouldn't have to do two different things but she likes to ride the bus I think it's a social thing and then I take Will to school and he has to be at school by um, we get him there about 715 it starts at 730 so it's cold outside, but I don't really, you know, get all dressed up before I take them. So it's so nice to be able to slip these on real quick. And they're warm and comfy. And it's just so much better because I was wearing flip-flops even in the winter because I didn't want to take the time. Actually, last winter I had gotten some of those Crocs with the fur lining. And these, you know, are far better than those. Um, the price, I know the price is high. But if I were you, I would rather have one real authentic pair of Uggs than three pairs of um, Skechers or something else because I think and I've heard the Emu brand that EMU that that's a good brand too and they're still I think $80 um, but I think because they're real you know genuine leather and all that kind of stuff and I'm not sure about exactly what they're made of or anything like that that's the reason that they breathe and they don't make your feet stink and they keep them like the perfect temperature they don't keep them you know they keep them warm but not too hot and all that stuff and for you you know 40 year olds out there like me and above I have not once felt ridiculous or um, you know I will put them on with my sweats I don't know I guess maybe the comfort you know outweighs you know how I would feel about how I look or something but the one thing is, you know, they, they kind of have that look anyway. You can kind of throw them on with anything, and they look 
um, casual and yet trendy. And I don't feel like I look ridiculous. Matter of fact, um, I was helping a lady and a man the other day. They were buying a pair for her mother, and it was the husband. And he was probably at least, um, gosh, I would say at least 65, if not a little bit older than that. And they were getting them for her mom, and they were getting her the short chestnut. And I just thought, you know, she is going to love those so much. And they've even got the slippers and the moccasins, which... I've seen the moccasins advertised as a shoe and as a slipper, but when I saw them, they really had a nice sole on them, so I think you could wear them out if you want to. I'm thinking about getting some of those because they just look really comfortable. But um, I'm going to show you my outfit of the day, and um, it's a very casual outfit. It is Wednesday, and I still have not finished my Christmas shopping, and I'm really panicking right now. I also am just getting my Christmas cards out. So I've kind of got that freaked out feeling in the outfit that I have on. I know it would look better with another trendy pair of high heel boots um, or even my cowboy boots, which I love and are very, very comfortable too. Um, but these are even more comfortable. So I'm going to show you how I wear them. And um, I just really want, if you thought all those things that I thought, I want you to try them. Um, and I think these, I think the short ones are 140 and I think the taller ones maybe are 180. I'm not sure. I remember they were close to $200 by the time I paid for them. But I think they last a long time. And um, I think they're worth it. I think it's something that you would get lots and lots and lots of wear out of. So if you're like me and you thought all those things, I want you to try them. So I'm going to show you a quick outfit of the day and let you go finish all your Christmas things that I'm sure you have to do too. Yeah, I'll be right back. Today. I just have on a, um, just like a blazer, you know, a, I don't know what you call it, if it be a coat, blazer type thing. I have on just a long, I have on a long tank top and then a t-shirt that kind of goes over. And then I have on black leggings and I think these are the ones from Forever 21. And then I have on my tall black boots. So I know that this would look better with a pair of nice boots on, but I still think that I look neat and, um, you know, somewhat trendy, I guess and it's a comfortable outfit. And for the rest, I just have on some uh, gold earrings that I cannot remember where I got these. I think I got them at Kohl's and I just love them. And then I've got on that, um, just the gold pearl type necklace that I got a while ago from Belks and it was uh, the Kim Rogers brand. And um, a ring I got at the Coach Outlet. And wedding ring, um, my Michael Kors watch, and this nail polish, which I adore. It is, hold on one second, it is, it's the Butter um, Fairy Lights. You can see it is gorgeous. And I have had this on, I just noticed one little chip right there and right there today, which I'm right-handed, so um, I've had this on for a couple of days, and I'm glad I got to show it to you, because last time I wore it, I didn't get to show it to you. It's definitely going to be in my all-time favorite. Um, I'm tempted to go get another bottle just to make sure I still have it because I love it. Most metallic polishes, for some reason, I feel like it makes my fingernails look, it makes them look too dark around the edges for some reason. I don't know if it's like a shadow or something, but these are, I hope you can see in all the different light how pretty it is. It's like the most beautiful rose gold, and I just love it, and it's the butter. It's the, this is the one that Rhonda sent me. And um, I think there's one place here in town that I've heard carries this, so I might go check it out. I love that. And once again, it's Fairy Lights, and I'll put everything below. And one thing I wanted to share with you, too, and this is funny. Let me zoom out a little bit. This um, jacket that I have on, I have had since, I've probably had this, um, well, a little trivia about me. My favorite movie, if we're ever on a game show together or something, they ask you my favorite movie. It is Pretty Woman with Julia Roberts. And I'm sure that's not hard for you to believe about me because I love a fairy tale. Um, but I have just always been crazy about that movie. And when it first came out, I don't know if you guys remember at the end when he rescues her, she had on a jacket like this and a white shirt. She had her hair up and then she ended up I taking it down. immediately out and found this jacket. Um, and you can tell by the shoulder pads. It's actually maybe just a tad bit too big for me now. But um, so now that shoulder pads have kind of come back in style, I got it back out and I've really enjoyed wearing it. But um, so it's kind of like... It's, I'm proud of myself for keeping it this long because normally I would have probably gotten rid of it. But um, so now every time I wear it, I think back to, you know, when I was 
22 or whenever it was at that meeting. So I hope you guys have a great week, and I will see you on Friday. Bye-bye.